Hello, good evening, and welcome to my YouTube channel once again. This is Summer Including, and today we are going to learn how to cut a simple button down shirt for men. Um, this video is a detail and a full video from the cutting to the stitching of our fabric. So now let's get into the video. I have my two yards fabric here. So the first thing that you have to do is to determine the back from the front. So I have the front here and the back here. So the first thing that you need to do is to identify the front from the back. Then you mark the back, which is the bad or the rough side of the fabric. So we have the rough side. We're gonna place it downwards like this. So that we have the good side facing us upwards. Now, the measurement that we'll be using for today's tutorial is to is we have our chest measurement of 44, our back or our cross back of 19 inches, our sleeves length of 9 inches, the length of the shirt is 31 inches. So the first thing that we need to do is to determine the measurement that we'll be using for the folding of the fabric. What I'm going to do is we are going to, fill, we are going to cut the front side of the shirt before we go on with the back. So we're going to divide our chest measurements by four. So it's going to give us 44 divided by four, which is going to give us 11. So with 11 inches, we're going to add the two inches seam allowance to it. 11 inches, we're going to add the two inches seam allowance to it, which is going to give us 13 inches. So 11 plus two is going to give us 13. Then we add extra two inches for the placket for the buttons at the front side. So it's going to be 44 divided by 11 plus two inches seam allowance plus another two inches for the placket. So it's going to be 11 inches plus four is going to give us 15. So what it means is that we are going to fold our fabric to get to make sure we have 15 inches 15 inches so we have four by the one fifteen so we're gonna pull it just like this good so now we have the 15 inches here So after getting our 15 inches, we're going to take the measurement for the length, which is 31 inches plus 1 inches seam allowance. So we're going to use 32 here. 32 there. So we just connect the two lines. So we have it here. Just like this, I'm gonna cut it out. After cutting, we're going to measure the two inches plackets. Two inches. Micro two inches here. Okay. After marking, we fold. It's this two inches is for the plackets. So this is how we're gonna have it. So after folding the plackets, we move on to the marking and the cutting of the next circumference. What, what I normally do is that I first cut it in such a way that the neck is going to be small. 
So after joining everything, then I take the actual neck measurements and make sure I trim the neck circumference to get the exact measurement that I want. So I'm going to take, I'm going to mark here two inches. Let me take it again. I'm going to mark here two inches on let's say 2.25 inches here. So I draw it for just like this. After joining everything, I'm going to trim it again to get the exact measurement that I want. At the end of it, I want to get 19 inches. So after joining the back and the front together, I'll just trim it to get the 19 inches for the neck. So now let's move on to the back measurement. The back or the upper back measurement is 19. So it's going to be 19 divided by 2 plus half an inch. 19 divided by 2 plus half an inch. That is going to be the measurement that we'll be using for the back. So it's going to give us 9.5 plus half an inch. It's going to give us 10. So I'm going to measure our 10 inches starting from here. So our, nine, our 10 inches will end at this place. Then we measure 2.5 inches downwards for the slides. 2.5 inches downwards. So I'm going to connect this place to where the 2.5 inches ended. This is how it's going to be. This is how it's going to be. Good. So now we are moving on to the measurement of our arm hole so now this is how to determine the arm hole of every top or every carton that you are working with divide the chest measurements by five then you add one inch to it i'm taking it again divide your chest measurement by five then add one inch to it so it's going to be 44 divided by five which is going to give us 8.8. .8. Then add one inch, which is going to give us 9.8. So you start from here, uh, 9.8 is going to be somewhere here. So it is on this line that we will be taking our uh, the actual chest measurement. It is on this line that we will be taking the actual chest measurement. Now the chest measurement is 44 divided by for who's going to give us 11. I'm going to have 11 inches here. If you have the armhole curve, you just place it on it. Then you just control it. So this is how is going to look like so we are going to cut the markings out So now we have the front part of our shirt. Good. So after cutting it out, we're going to measure quarter inch here. That is 0 0.25. Please take it. It's quarter inch or 0 0.25. This place. So we are going to fold it.
So we have it here in place. The so now we are done with the front part of our shirt. We are moving on to the back part of our shirt. So now we are moving on to the back. So we are going to fold it. So you place the forms and make sure it is the same size as So now I'm going to mark four inches. We are going to mark an extension of four inches for the back, and the four inches is going to start from this point. So you mark four inches here. Good. So we are going to take our back. Uh, we are going to take our back measurement as we did. For the front part, but please watch this. The tape, the measuring tape is not placed like this, but you do it in a straight line, just like this. Then you mark it. We're going to trace here. So after cutting through, I'm going to fold it to touch the edge of the front part. So we're going to measure the quarter inch upon 2.5 also here. At this point, so we're going to cut it for the back. So it's gonna be like this. You could see that the back is a little bit longer than the front. So we're gonna trim this part off to touch where we had our chest measurements. So now this is how it's going to the back is going to look like just mark it. So now this is how the back is going to look like. So now let's move on. Let's go back to the front part. So we're gonna cut it into two pieces that is we are going to cut the middle line so now we have it just like this so let us first take the one to be at the left hand side and this one is going to be at the left hand side so we are going to deal with this one first to turn it just like this you could see that we are having three lines here one two three we are going to fold this part to touch 
So I'm going to fold this part to touch the third line here. Counting from this piece, one, two, three. So I'm going to fold this part to touch here. It's going to be like this. Just like this. So after that, you fold it again. That is for the left part. For the left part. So now let us move on to the one that is going to be at the right. The same thing to having three lines. One, two, three. So I'm going to fold the first one. This one. We are going to fold it. Let's see if you have any question. You can drop it at the comment section and I'm going to address it for you. So after folding, you also fold the edge to touch this place. how the right side is being done so now let us move on to the cutting of the yoke for the back it's so simple and easy only if you follow it attentively and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you have not done so after cutting it Battles for the yoke. So now let us move on to the sleeves, the cutting of the sleeves. Our sleeve measurement is nine inches. fabric and don't forget the ample measurement that we use was 9.8 so we're going to add one inch to the measurement that you use for the armhole so it's going to be 9.8 plus 1 which will give us 10.8 so this is the measurement that we'll be using to cut the sleeves So I'm going to take a straight line here. So where the 9.8 will end, I'm going to measure 5 inches here. So it's going to be like this. That's going to be. So I have my 9 inches plus half inch in my allowance. And also extra two and a half inches for the folding. The around arm two is fifteen, so it's going to give us seven and a half inch plus one inch is going to give us eight and a half. So I'm going to cut it like this. After that, you fold the 
this person. So after that, please don't forget when we are cutting the back, uh, the, 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 the front part was a little bit longer than the back. So if you trim the front part, this is how we're going to cut the sleeves to fit in. Please watch this. I'm going to cut it just like this. So at the end of the day, you will see that the sleeves is not of the same length. You see that this piece is a little bit longer than here. So this part, the, the longer part to be at the front part of the shirt and the piece of the shirt is going to be at the back side of the shirt. So at the end of the day, it's going to be this like this having the longer parts at the front and the shorter parts at so now we are done with the cutting of our shirt please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also share for others to benefit see you in our next tutorials on how to stitch these parts together thank you